good morning. Well, different start to the video, wasn't it? Seeing me uh, bring my bike in. Right, when I've got these noisy shit to shut up. <clears throat> do, 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 do. So, here's the setup as it stands. This bike still needs some tuning and it keeps falling over despite the stand, which is driving me nuts because it keeps bending my bolts. So, all it is is just a 13mm bolt that goes through there, through this, with a lock nut on the other side. I got a bit pissed off last night because I broke that reflector. All because someone put a poxy bin in the way back at the flat. That's all it was. Yeah, I've added the ladder rack. I need to paint that. I've added a couple of extra amber reflectors to small pedal ones. Uh, I've got the rear lights on it now. One either side. Rear reflectors. The same three reflectors down this side with a wonky one. I don't know why that one's wonky, but it's gone wonky. Cut the LEDs up there, front and the rear one, just as markers. Because uh, when I'm going down the road in the dark, I want drivers to uh, see me. Get out of it. Come on. Get out. Don't know what you think you're doing. Right. It's her sorted out. Obviously we had to raise the gates, otherwise they scraped on the floor. Because this ground slopes downwards. So there's a gap and she likes to crawl underneath it. We've still got to uh, sort that problem. Yeah, just so drivers coming towards me know that I'm pulling something. And for extra visibility I just stuck a little ordinary 3 LED light up there and I just decided to stick the rear one on just for some extra visibility as well. New board in the bottom after I sprayed it. I thought that bike was going to go because the handlebars are moved. <laughs> Had a penny for every time that fell over. Jesus. Right, now the wrong keys. I'll give you an update while I'm here. So I've got that lot to unload later. I need to go and get some food first. I haven't eaten yet. I'm dog sitting technically. Because if we leave her on her own. Thank you, right on camera, why don't you? Take a pee, yay! <laughs> if we leave her on her own, she starts uh, whining and barking. Which, uh, neighbours don't like, which I don't really blame them personally. I think that would drive me up the wall and all. Great, let's get some lights on. Beep. So, I've got a radio set up. I did actually want to store this under there, but I figured it was actually better to unfold it and get it all set up and uh, store it like this, because at least this way I can just wheel it out and lean it up on the fence along with that e-bike. There's the scooter. Like I said, most of it's back together. She does run. In fact, you know what I can do? I'm going to drag. I've got to get in here anyway. I need some space, so I'm going to empty these out. I think before I do that, can I set you on here? What's that angle like? Not the best, but I didn't think to bring the tripod, so oopsie on me. And I've got nothing higher I can sit you on. Uh, oh, I know what I can do. Let me see one scallywag, but I don't know where the other one is. Right. This should raise you up a bit. There's a song there, isn't there? So it won't raise me up or something. Or 
or am I just losing the plot today? I was going to use three batteries, but I think the two's better. That's better. I think three batteries would have been too much. Right. Would you believe I only paid £10 for that bike last year at the car boot sales in um, North Walsham Town Centre. I rode at home as well. The only thing it needed was the lights replaced. Right, come on e-bike. I've got to be careful because there is some dog's mess out there. Got this habit of doing it right outside my shop door. Oh, come on, where'd you go? <clears throat> my keys are my keys are in it. Good. Oh. Getting a bit tight to get this in here now. I'll show you why in a moment. I don't think you can see it. Or just disappear out the shed. Started assembling my brother's mountain bike. I've done the repair that I wanted to do to that frame just to make the frame last longer. If you're up close you might see the difference in white but I've got the handlebar on and different stem on which I give a quick coat of black paint. I've sort of developed a collection of cans up there. Gave these a quick coat as well. Uh, I'll get new bearings for the bottom bracket, but I want to get as much of this reassembled today as, um, as I can as well. Anyway, I want to see if we can get this running. So, I'm going to get the kickstart down. That bit I forgot to WD-40. I've WD-40 the switch, so as you can see that now pings back. It wasn't doing that, in case you're wondering. That's how the indicators work. And then that way, when you click them off like that, I'll show you in a minute. Right, we need ignition on. Pull the brake in. Come on, bitch. Fire up. Give it a bit of gas. She hasn't been ran for a few days, so. <laughs> Call me a liar now and say she ain't got one. Go on. You don't want to go by the kickstart, right? Plan B. I'm going to shut you off for this. All right, I've got my battery hooked up. Uh, I don't have to do this one-handed. I'll give you that view. <laughs>
brake light coming on. Yep, so that mechanism is working. And yes, it has got fuel in it before anyone says anything. Look. <laughs> mm, she doesn't want to play ball. Indicator working. Yeah, you've got to have the engine running for the lights. Horn's not going to work because it's not connected. Relay, can you hear that? Don't cancel, you just press it straight in. See, yeah, no working. But she really needed to run. We'll try again later. She might run later. I may have flooded it. Carbonator is the uh, fuel. I think it's this one. Which is actually bone dry. Which is not what I want. Was it that one? That's not the fuel, is it? That's the One of the fuel lines hadn't popped off. I might have to just uh, check that. Because this did fall over the other day. Right, I'm going to check that then. I'll be back. Seems like the valve got stuck. Because what I had to do was take the vacuum hose off and suck on it. Um, I just felt it go beep, and then fuel started to come through there, and eventually she fired up. So uh, there we go. I'm going to put this back together. <laughs> I had to take all of this off, you know, just to check that the hoses hadn't come off the. Um, vacuum valve. Oh, pardon me. Oh, right, there we go. Should we just try it again one more time for luck? Let's get you to balance on there somehow. I know you're at a funny angle, but... My neutral wire has just come off. Oh dear. That's your one problem. See? That's all it is. Look at the little, it's a dinky little battery that goes in there. And this just clips on top. Uh, that's the voltage regulator. That's the little computer doodad. The indicator relay is right there underneath this cover. So, uh, Yay! <laughs> it works! 
Right, like I said, I'm going to bolt this all back together, so thanks a lot for watching, and talk to you all again soon. Bye!